yeah, bend me over and make sure you slide in two fingers because I've been a naughty boy. A few projects will be announced in January, according to James Gunn. Now, we all know the first project that's going to be announced will be Superman. And of course, obviously, I wish it was Henry Cavill because Henry Cavill is the greatest Superman of all time. So whoever this actor is, is going to have big shoes to fill. I'm hoping it's David Cornsweet or Wolfgang. I'm sorry, can I pronounce your last name? And while the hardcore Zack Center fan base is having a Kanye West mental psychosis breakdown, I'm super excited to see what James Gunn DCU is going to look like for the future. Now, again, who's going to be the main actor for Superman? I don't know. But good luck to you, sir. We just have to wait and see. I guess we'll never know. More from James Gunn. Now, I really love this. James Gunn on if the studio will interfere with DC. The position is different than it was with Zack Snyder, etc. Peter and I are the heads of these studios. The only studio interference would be from us. Yes. Now, if only James Gunn was in charge back in, oh, I don't know, 2011, then maybe we would have had... Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel 2, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel 3, the Holy Trilogy with Henry Cavill, then you would have done your solo Batman films, one Woman, and then we would have had Zack Snyder's Just League. But, alas, that's not the case. But I do love this. Like, hey, no studio interference, no studio nonsense. It's DC from here, and I love it. So everybody stay on that side when they switched up. You switched up, stay on that side, man. Number Memphis over here. Memphis. And this is all coming from James Gunn's new social media, Mastodon. James Gunn confirms there will be a new intro for the DC movies a little further. Now, I love this. And hopefully, we get a banging-ass DCU intro like this. See this right here? This is the DC intro that we deserve. Because, sorry, Marvel fans, Marvel fanboys, DC is the A-bread. DC deserves the best. We deserve the best in movies, animation, comics sex toys whatever it is bro if it has the dc logo on it it should be top tier quality and we we haven't had top tier quality in a very long time but that's exactly where james gunn and peter saffron want to do you don't think james gunn is looking at what kevin feige is doing in marvel he's like this son of a bitch like i respect marvel i respect kevin feige but god damn it like i'm the dc president now i want to make sure that the dc brand not only is on par with marvel but hopefully sometime in the near future overtakes marvel because dc is the a brand and dc deserves to be the a brand deserves to be the a level entertainment all the most popular actors directors in the world should be head over heels should be climbing over each other working on a dc project and that's what james gunn is trying to do now you can have your hashtag fire james gunn i hate james gunn he took away my favorite toys whatever while you guys have your fucking temper and tantrum James Gunn is looking forward to bringing in quality DC movies. Now, also, that gets me more excited that Ben Affleck wants to work on a DC movie. And hopefully, Ben Affleck will direct or dust off his little Batman v. Deathstroke script. And even though I would love Ben Affleck to don the cape and cowl once again and do the movie, unfortunately, I think, you know, like I said, it's going to be a younger Batman. But if Ben Affleck you know, decides to do a Batman movie, directing this new actor playing Batman doing this his death stroke his death stroke treatment oh my god that would be mwah, chef's kiss because ben affleck is the greatest batman of all time but ben affleck is a great director and i can only hope that ben affleck decides to do a solo batman film within the dcu doing his death stroke script i mean that would be oh my god that would be amazing that would be amazing and that's what and that's what I think James Gunn can bring to the table. Bring in all these great actors, bring in all these great directors to work and concentrate on making great solo films that connect to the larger DC universe going forward. And like I said, DC, D now is the opportunity to actually make DC compete with Marvel. It needs to. It needs to compete with Marvel because if James Gunn fails, then it's all over. It's all over. Pack it up and we're going to have another reboot. And I'm sure, you know, that's going to go out well over with the fan base. But if James Gunn and Peter Saffron can deliver something that's truly special, that's truly unique, starting with Superman, Superman is going to be the template 
and be the gold standard for the next DCU films to come. If Superman delivers this new film, oh my God, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be a game changer, and that's gonna bring even more of the general audiences who were not invested in Zack Snyder's take. I love Zack Snyder. I love Man of Steel, BVS, Zack Snyder, Justice League, but but we gotta be honest. The general audiences were not invested with his interpretations. But if they are invested with James Gunn's Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern, Justice League then we are off to the races. And like I said, James Gunn, you have your full support if if you do this correctly. That's And that's a big if. But if you can pull it off, then you will have my support. And as always, hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, join the Truth Army, share the video, like the video, it would be so kind. As always, put your comments down below and give me your thoughts. James Gunn, please do not mess this up. I'm counting on you, bro. We deserve a great Superman movie. And if you can give it to us, then hey, It'll be all good. Love you all. Stay safe. Mwah. Truth out. Right now, I just want to get so drunk tonight. <laughs> and then tomorrow we can think about Premier League.